Go on. End it. End it! What's stopping you? Oh, I forgot. Barry Allen is above killing. Isn't that right? Get out of here. I wonder what face I'll be wearing next time we meet. Flash. Can't wait. What is good YouTube, Wuss you here with a video on The Flash Season 5. Now if you're into The Flash TV show, at least if you're still hanging in with Flash Season 4, this is the channel for you so make sure to subscribe. So The Flash Season 5, it will be returning in October the 9th. October the 9th, which is interesting, so that's next year in terms of the TV shows. There will only be 22 episodes, which is fantastic for me because I hate fillery episodes. The Flash generally has five to six fillery episodes. It's not quite as bad as Supergirl, which has half the season being fillery stuff, but we're not getting to Supergirl because that's just a disaster at the moment. But it's pretty cool. So usually we get the standard format where it sets up the tease for next season, sets up the theme, sets up the villain, but Todd Helbin, for some some reason cut out the kind of teaser for this villain for season five for some reason he said it was a timing issue but do you want fans to believe that you couldn't cut 10 seconds out somewhere else when there was kind of a lot of fillery stuff in the season finale no i just think you got cold feet after a lot of people exposed what this lightning bolt dagger good bad tease was and i don't for some reason hopefully i hope you're going to change the villain so it's becoming annoying on the flash tv show each year that for some reason harrison wells has to be changed each year which is good for the actor it allows him to grow as an actor but he is the best actor on the show anyway so he doesn't really need to develop his skills so this year on the flash tv show we had harrison wells from earth 2 losing his intelligent via making his own thinking cap fusing it with dark matter thus for making him a simpleton which essentially was what devoe's overall plan was was to turn the whole universe into simpletons remove all technology from them and teach everyone so at the end of the season he went back to his own earth to be with his daughter jesse quick which is kind of interesting but annoying because people were really starting to like that version even without the intelligence but i can see why without his intelligence he isn't really a good character yes i know what some people say what about hr hr was still kind of clever in his own little way so there are some quotes here at the end of the year and this year is no different. We get to ask this question. Helbin joked, this year I was up there for the finale and sat down with Tom and we started some sort of spitballing some possibility of new wells. In interesting how it said wells, so there might be multiple wells coming just like the Council of Wells from last season, maybe. The two of us came up with some good options, but I think we landed on one in particular that serves the story in season five really well and also gives Tom something new to play with, which is interesting seeing as we know it's going to be speeds to base after the flash got cold feet and the they really did lie they were like no time travel then at the end we have nora allen traveling 30 years into the past back to our timeline so I d it's a bit strange how the writers and showrunners these shows can't even be consistent with their own storyline they're like oh we're not going to do any more savitar time jump stuff because we couldn't even explain it last year's comic con but then you're going to bring barry allen's barry daughter into the equation and we all know it's building up to bart allen so they've got to be pushing towards a harrison wells version that's a speedster I don't want to tell you who it is yet, but I was up there in Vancouver shooting for finale. I talked to Tom for quite a bit, Helbin said. We landed on a pretty fun and interesting new Wells to join the team. So is it going to be a case of another Harrison Wells joining the team and being evil? Because we know HR wasn't evil. We know, obviously, Earth 2 Harrison Wells wasn't evil. We know the Zoom kind of Harrison Wells version was, but he was just trying to get his daughter back, so not really. So what could be the case is it could be Earth X version of reverse flash because he did say i wonder what face i'll be wearing next time you see me maybe that version but that would be a bit boring and then they'll have to readdress the whole earth 38 one but i know i spoke about this a year ago johnny quick could be a pretty cool character and we know that harrison wells loves to play a villain so johnny quick is essentially a fan favorite since they named jesse quick everyone's wanted johnny quick so johnny quick is essentially an evil doppelganger from the flash alternate universe um, which essentially could be the multiverse in the TV show. He's a member of the crime syndicate and a super villain of the parallel to the Justice League. So essentially, it's a group of villains that kind of own the Justice League back and forth each way. But we don't have the Justice League in this TV show. We do kind of have, I guess you could say, some form of Justice League, excluding Supergirl because she's from a different... Well, 
a complete different earth so like realistically when you think about the justice league in terms of arrowverse you have to exclude people from other earths so it's really just arrow and the flash and obviously the characters involved in them so johnny quick is from earth 3 which could be interesting storyline um his alias isn't really known he's just called johnny quick he was born with super speed and then basically he got a helmet that harnessed his natural abilities and made him a lot faster so it could be a pretty cool interesting thing to bring to the show now i know i know what you're going to think in they can't do that but nora allen if it isn't actually a twin identical twin theory theory storyline she created a new flashpoint at the end of it so her big mistake could be she created johnny quick maybe or she brings reverse flashback because obviously that would explain a lot of people because most people don't understand when a speedster dies they just get stuck in the speed force until they can escape so maybe that could be potential for season five the, the potential for season five is absolutely insane for how good it could be but are the writers up to it because i've noticed i'm a big fan of flash but the writing for season one and two have been so much better than the writing for season three and four mainly because social media they listen to stuff in social media we don't want a speedster we don't want a speedster then all of a sudden everyone's calling for godspeed and cobalt blue cobalt blue can obviously steal barry land speed so essentially he could be a villain without actually being a speedster but i don't know guys let me know in the comment box down below like you do always really interested to know what what you guys think about the johnny quick coming to the flash they do have an ample of opportunity now now we have another speedster on the show we could bring bart allen in could be joining johnny quick in and essentially if they are building up to the flash family they're gonna have to bring some speedster villains back so what's the point of building up to the flash family obviously having bart allen having nora allen having the flash having like wally west what's the point of building up to all these speedster goodies if there's going to be no speedster villain it just doesn't really make any sense so anyway guys i'll be doing videos like this all summer long just like i have done for um quite a long time anyway guys i will catch you in another video very soon catch you later